people this is double h here for um this um review that's actually long of overdue of course this is the review for um the hot locker um directed by Catherine bigelow who also um directed um um you know oh, i'm an fbi agent um gosh i've actually forgotten what the name of that film is the film with keanu reeves and the great Patrick Swayze and Gary Busey. It's left my head. I'll probably remember it after. But yeah, this is, of course, the review for Hot Lock, the film that, you know, has been getting a lot of praise um, throughout the year. You know, a lot of people have been talking about it. And I said that, you know, I have to, you know, I have to watch, I have, I have to watch this film, you know, I have to see this film, you know, to see, you know, what this film is about, you know. So I'm just going to set the, set the stage very briefly of what this crack's about. You know, um, the Hot Lock is about set in during the Iraq War, obviously the Iraq War that is going on now. Um, it deals with the very, very, very edgy, difficult, I mean, just the insanely crazy job of being um, a bomb disposal guy during the Iraq war conflict, because obviously in the nature of the war, based on this being urban warfare, bombs and the way that bombs are put and the way that they are um, planted and created is a major issue, issue for the kind of, of war that has been fought over there in, in, in Iraq. So these guys are a critical, a critical, critical um, components for um, the um, American soldiers. So um, yeah. I mean, so so I mean, so basically, so it this follows in the um, um, units of um this um bomb disposal guy and um, the other soldiers in his unit. So yeah, um, so yeah, so that's so, so, so yeah, that so this so that's so that's, so that's what what it follows. So obviously, you start off with um this um crew. Of this um, bomb, this this the disposal guy and his um, few other guys, and obviously something happens to him, obviously, and the real story kick, kicks off once they get this the um, new bomb disposal guy called James, and um, he's obviously with um, the um, two two other guys. I don't know what their name is, but yeah, Anthony Mackey, you know, who's also been in a in a few films. That's the um, I think he's the sergeant, and then. We have the guy. I think it's El Eldridge, you know. Um, so yeah, and really the story um, follows um, these three guys. You know, um, obviously Jeremy Renner who plays James. Um, yeah, who plays James Anthony Mackey who plays um, Sanborn, and Brian Garrity who pl who plays Eldridge. Um, so yeah, I mean, and the story is really about. Um, Obviously, it starts off with you know this James guy. He's obviously he's a hot head, a guy you know who really doesn't um, care too much about death, you know, and you know he's he just goes and head in to deal with his bombs and his um, manner of dealing w with disposing these bombs puts his other guys in danger, makes them also very edgy as well, you know. So then there's a bit, there's a lot of friction between um, Sanborn and James. Because of um, James's um, crazy cowboy methods of going in, but then the story then develops, and then we have a side story, including a boy, and we now see a different layer, a different depth, a, a different depth of James's um, character, and he continues to lead these soldiers into unwanted territory, putting their lives in danger. Obviously, there are then repercussions um, involving. Um, James's decisions to go in further than they really need to go. Um, so yeah, I mean, and I think so. So that's really the story on a very basic, basic level. You know, you, you know, Ray Fiennes is there, Guy Guy Pierce is there as well. So yeah, um, that's 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 just the basic plot. So going into the movie now, I mean, again, you know, I mean, a lot has been said has been said about this film. A lot has been said about this film, and like you know, it's just recently won the um, LA Critics Award for Best Pike 
AK Best um, Film. Um, Catherine Bigelow, obviously, she's been picking up awards here and there. And I think this is very interesting because I really wanted to do this review because um, we had a um, talk back um, radio segment dealing with why um, why has there been no winners of the best directing Oscar for 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 women? So, and obviously Catherine Bigelow was one of the main people that we actually talked about in that radio show. You know, Talkback World dot 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 net. You can go listen to that like there. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I mean, I I think that um, you know, looking at this for my, I believe honestly that the best part of this film was actually the, the 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 directing you know it's done in the documentary style which we've seen tons and tons about so think traffic think all of these um you know spanish movies that you see see coming out you know think those kinds of films you know i mean like so it's you know like but to be honest it isn't shaky shaky cam so it isn't ob- obtrusive that is i think that's why i like i, I like about it because once I saw that it's very gritty and documentary, so I thought it was going to be very shaky cam and you can hardly see anything, but it is well filmed and you can see everything that is happening, but, you know, you feel like if you're really in the conflict and it feels very real, it does not feel or- organic, you know, because, I mean, when you look at, um, I mean, some of those, like, I mean, I was, I'm, I've not actually seen the whole film, but looking at some scenes of Black Crown, it looks, you know, pretty, like, it looks crazy because really Scott is a crazy director, but I think that, you don't you don't you don't really feel as real. It doesn't really feel as real or as organic or as natural as something like this. Because when I was just when you're just watching it, I mean, there's a scene where um, um, Sanborn is obviously having to snipe off these guys, and James is is, scou- is scouting them out, and Elridge is back there. And just the way that was done, you felt the tension, man. You know, you really felt the tension of this thing, and I th- think that was one of the great triumphs of this film is that you felt the tension of um this crazy war, you know. Um and the bomb scenes when James actually disposing of the bombs. I don't want to really I don't want to spoil things for you, but you know, there's one of the bombs he has to dispose of, which is really crazy. And how that ends up, you just think that wow man, that's pretty crazy. But I think really like the tension that is created comes from the way that um, Catherine Bigelow created the intention via her, 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 her directing, you know, not much. I mean, there was music in it, but the music was not much used. You didn't have the music saying, oh, this is where you cry. This is where you get tense. No, you know, I think she, the actors, I think another another good thing was that the casting. I really liked the casting because I didn't really... Anthony Mackie, I've seen it in a few films. I've never seen Jeremy Renner before, and I've not seen the guy who played um, Eldridge. I've, not, I've never seen them in any films before. Um, obviously, you know, you know, and the good things that Ray Fiennes and um, Guy Pearce, you know, like I've seen them in lo- loads of films, but they were very, very minimal roles, you know, because you'd be, you'd think that okay, the Ray Fiennes and Ray Fiennes and Guy Pearce would have larger roles because they're bigger names, but. I think that was the triumph of, the, of, the, of this film was that you didn't really recognize most of these actors. I mean, Jeremy Renner, he's not done anything of, of notes, you know, so this is really his first kind of like major, major film. Anthony Mackie has been in a few things, but compared to like your Jamie Foxx's or your Morris Chestnuts, he's not one of the better known African-American actors. So when you were watching these guys, you re- could really enter into the characters a lot more because they were less well-known and they all did very, very well. 